Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix Gcash internal server error. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do you actually fix the Gcash internal server error in your phone? Well, this one is kind of tricky because sometimes the cause of this issue is from Gcash itself. So if they're actually maintaining or up upgrading their system or doing a patch on their system or Gcash, then you'll probably receive this error and you won't be able to access Gcash. So usually these occur, occur or this problem occur around midnight. So in this case, you just need to wait like a few hours until the issue would actually be solved itself. So this issue would actually resolve itself in a few hours. But if that's not the case, it's been a few hours and you're still having this issue, well, you have to do a few things here. So first thing that you want to do here is you want to ensure that you have the latest version for Gcash. So go ahead and open up Google Play Store here, search for Gcash and see if there are any updates. So in this case, sometimes with Gcash or any applications that you have on your phone, sometimes it will not automatically update. So checking if there are any updates on the application itself is really, really good so that you'll get the latest version. Now, if that's not the case and you're still having issues, uh, but you, you just upda updated your Gcash application here and still having issues, well, the next thing that you want to do here is change a few things here. So first thing is you want to check your interconnection. So if you're having interconnection, like for example, you're using your Wi-Fi and your connection is really, really slow, then probably that is the cause of this issue. So you might want to use a different means of connecting to the internet. So maybe use your mobile data, connect to a different Wi-Fi and check if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the next thing that we want to do here is we want to clear our temporary files or cache files in Gcash. So go ahead and locate your Gcash mobile application here. Press and hold on Gcash and you want to select the option that says app info. And from here, you want to select the option that says clear data. And from here, select the option that says clear cache. Do not select the clear all data here because you'll be clearing all your data that is in your phone or about your Gcash here, but it will not delete, but I wouldn't recommend you to do the clear all data here but since we only want to clear our temporary files, which is the clear cache. So go ahead and click on clear cache. And from here, just click on OK when it asks you clear cache. And once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is open up Gcash and see if that solves your issue. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.